Julia Stein, a 24-year-old British street magician and sensation, during a visit to Newcastle in Northern England, he showcased some of his top tricks to passers-by and later compiled. Stein's performance of various illusions, from turning a 10 pounds note into a credit card to magically transforming M and M's into Skittles, Stein captivates his audience, including two amazed young women. This is just one of many showcasing Dine's magical talents. Born in London in 1994, his fascination with magic ignited at the age of 10 after attending a show by the Young Magicians Club with his grandfather. Despite being in school at the time, Dine quickly began honing his own magical skills and performing tricks. During his teenage years, Dine showcased his magic prowess in London's Camden Town, where a curious spectator inquired if he performed at events. I printed off some makeshift business cards and handed them out at a 40th birthday party, Dine recounted. And from there, business just took off. After completing his schooling, Dine pursued higher education at King's College London. As part of his international relations degree, he embarked on a year-long academic stint at UCLA. During this time, Dine had the opportunity to dazzle celebrities like Katy Perry and Kelly Rowland with his magical talents. Dine's foray into began in Los Angeles, where he started of his performances. In a remarkably short span of two years, he amassed a staggering, including his renowned invisible chair illusion. Beyond magic, Dine is also recognized for his humorous pranks and thought-provoking social experiments. He playfully convinces music enthusiasts that electric toothbrush heads can substitute for Apple earbuds, leaving some unsuspecting participants bewildered. In another impactful experiment, Dine conducted a homophobia experiment on the London Underground, testing bystander reactions to offensive slurs directed at a staged gay couple. The footage captures several commuters standing up to Dine, urging him to cease his derogatory remarks and respect his fellow passengers. Another of Dine's social experiments takes place on the streets of Brixton in South London, where he attempts to hold the hands of strangers. Recorded during his university days, the prank probes people's responses to what seems like a harmless gesture. Dine explained to Talk Radio, it's such an innocuous action and it expresses the natural human reaction. In Dine's, some individuals react with confusion or amusement upon realizing their part of prank. However, Others respond with frustration. Reflecting on the experience, Dine told the London Evening Standard, there were scary moments. That's what fuels the prank. Despite the success of his pranks with younger audiences and their role in expanding, Dine disclosed in a 2017 interview with Jewish News his intention to shift focus from pranks to magic tricks. He emphasized that his true passion lies in magic. His latest, filmed in Newcastle, England, showcases light-hearted tricks and illusions. Dine captivates passers-by by effortlessly hooking a key onto a piece of string, conjuring a Rubik's cube out of thin air, and making a coin seemingly pass through a girl's top, leaving her astonished. Dine admitted that he was drawn to magic because he relished the startled reactions it evoked. Speaking to Business Insider, he likened the responses to this tricks to a drug, expressing his love for pushing the boundaries of possibility. Occasionally, Dine's tricks don't go as planned, as seen in the Newcastle when a coin inserted into a box of Tic Tacs causes the lid to promptly fall off. Nevertheless, he handles mishaps with his characteristic good humor, still managing to leave his audience in stitches. Dine credits performers like David Blaine for inspiring him during his formative years. That steered him towards a different career path, Dine explained to Jewish News, seeing people turn magic into a profession through motivated me to pursue this direction. In a 2017 interview, Dine emphasized that magic served as his mode of expression. I believe that's why people are drawn to magic and become magicians, he elaborated. It allows them to connect with others in a uniquely compelling manner. He notes that the majority of his fan base hails from the US and Mexico, and recent depict him captivating audiences in Hawaii and Mexico City. Despite this, Dine expressed to the Evening Chronicle his appreciation for Newcastle as an amazing setting to showcase his talents. Acknowledging the challenges of translating magic to an audience, Dine confessed to Business Insider, magic isn't inherently trendy, making it relevant can be challenging.